Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeView.com. I've heard a lot of things about the Chi-Yi Black Mamba, but I haven't actually seen a bunch on it. <laughs> it seems like they made it, and they put it out there, and then suddenly... nothing. Or at least maybe I just haven't been watching enough. But we have it here, the Chi-Yi Black Mamba. I don't really know much about this. Um, yeah. It has a tension device similar to the Tornado, but without the elasticity, just the tension setting, which I've seen before. They've done that with a different cube that came out recently from Chi as well, about a year ago. So this might be the successor to that. But this is a more budget-friendly line cube that looks to be pretty good. So let's find out. Now, I'm going to switch my backdrop to be... Ooh. Hairs. Now I'm going to switch my backdrop to be this for right now. The blue of my mat has been causing some staticky noise. And plus, this was sent to me from Speedcube Shop. So, Speedcube Shop mini mat right here. It's one of my favorite ones just because I really like that color. If you do go to Speedcube Shop, which there'll be a link in the description, discount code SCR will save you at checkout. So, fairly large box going away. We have the tool, the tension tool, a booklet, like a full booklet. Ooh, that is fantastic. OLL, PLL, other languages, pure languages, for everything. Chi had a, a much thicker book before, so this is just a more travel size that comes with the queue, which is going to be really nice. Oh, is this... How, wait, how do I get this out? I, was, I thought it looked like maybe you turn it. But how does... I like that. There we go. Let's figure out size and weight. Okay, so as far as weight goes, this is measuring in at 70.9 grams. Now that is on the lighter side of things. As far as size... 55.81. So a little bit large than some of the other ones. Smaller than a GAN puzzle. But larger than the Tornado. Tornado was about 54 and a half. So about one millimeter smaller. And if you are kind of newer to cubes and haven't tried a bunch of different ones, that's a huge difference. A little bit dry out of the box. So no uh, lubrication on the piece, it seems like. They've got that bump on the centerpiece, which I haven't seen from many cube manufacturers in a while. People did that to help stabilize the puzzle, and we saw that with things like the Moyu Aolong back in the day. But a lot of cubes just don't do that anymore. Like, we don't really see it from the Chi Volk or the Tornado. This is the first time in a while. I think maybe the Tornado V2 had that. Wait, was it Tornado? No. Anyways. It's been a while. Uh, taking some pieces out. Yeah, this is... This feels very, really... Uh, this feels very reminiscent of an old design, but updated. A separate nylon foot for that core. And let's see what's under the hood. We have... Come on. Wow, that is really tight in there. Okay, and there's our, there's our tension system. Yellow is three. four, five, and then back to one. Now there's a screw there as well. So is that for the elasticity or the tension? Because if there's a screw and that, does it say, it won't say in the booklet. Hmm. Let's find out. So I can pull, I can see the very base of the foot, which is usually what I like to do. Let's just go to five. I can still barely see the base of that foot. If I go to one, I can see it a bit more. I think it's just the tension. You know what? Let me look it up real quick. Oh, this is the Black Mamba V3? What? Where did I miss the V2? Okay, so that is the axis distance, which means that is not spring tensioning, but that is as if you're doing adjusting the screw. So. A larger adjustment and that small fine tuning. 
There is something that I didn't realize till I just uh, noticed it here. There are no magnets. There are no magnets in this. It could be magnetized, but the cube is 595. There are magnetic slots. There are slots for magnets, but there are no magnets in here. Uh -oh. I could put some in. Actually, let's see if I could fit the um, four by two, or it needs, or if it needs to be smaller than that. Now, personally, if I were to magnetize a puzzle, I do not use slots. I would magnetize the other side because, in my opinion, using the slots restricts what size you can use. So you could install four by two magnets in there. Let's see here. Will this fit? No, it will not. Seems too wide. Not too thick uh, on the edge. So maybe three by one and a half if you wanted to use the slots. But it's a puzzle for $5.95. For $6, if you use discount code SCR, you save a little bit more. What would be kind of cool is if Chi sold a magnetic conversion kit, maybe, uh, that are the correct size, and you just plop them in. Let's see real quick if the corners also have slots in them. So what's interesting is if they're slots, then did they mean to magnetize it? There's slots there too. Did they, did they just not think about that? Well, is there a production shortage on magnets? And they're like, well, we're just gonna make a non-magnetic version. I don't know. So with that said, a budget-friendly puzzle that at the moment performs kind of like a top tier cube. Okay. So everything's on the middle of the road setting. I'm not going to lubricate and not going to do any of that. And let's just do some solves and see how it goes. And I think that's about it. As far as would I recommend this puzzle at the moment, I'm going to do some solves, but for $5.95, yes. Um, $5.95 plus shipping, eh, I guess a little bit iffy there. However, if it's $5.95 and then you, you know, you're adding it on for something else, yeah, I think it's worth that budget. Magnets can cost only a couple dollars. I'll link to where... I like to get magnets from. You can get a nicer, you know, nicer set from some other places online or just go to eBay and, and get them there. But for a couple bucks, you now have a top tier cube. Well, anyways, let's, let's do some solves. I'm going to open up my timer. A little flexible. Okay, I'm going to tighten these tensions. Yeah, it's quite flexible. It's really interesting where the magnets are. This happened, I think, another time. Was it, I want to say it was either the Warrior W or not that one specifically. There was some budget puzzle that there were magnetic slots. Maybe it was something from, from Warrior. But there weren't magnets in it. And I was like, oh, they're going to come out with a magnetic version. They never did. Okay, I set these all to the highest. Now, it seems like that highest tension doesn't really matter so much because you can just use a screw as well. Unless the screw just sets it into place in a general spot.
If this cube came out during the Aulong days, it would have been the greatest thing. It still can be the greatest thing. Not the greatest thing. It still can be a great cube if it if it just was more stable. And you can make a more stable puzzle that doesn't really need magnets. I mean, you can make something like even the WRM or the RS3 2020. If that doesn't have magnets, it's still a really good puzzle because the stability works. This feels like it was made with magnets in mind and then just didn't happen. So what happened with it? I don't know why. Uh, if you want a budget puzzle, that's something that you can magnetize to, get this. It's definitely would be a fun project and something that could be top tier with that. At the moment, it's definitely a 595 puzzle. And you know what? For the price, I don't think there's any magnetic puzzle at that price point. So there's that too. But I certainly would not be using this at any competition unless I installed magnets first and tested that out. So maybe in the future, I'll install magnets and try that. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, step by speedkeepyview.com for more news and reviews.